Another day, another quarry. But before we do that, let's do this. That was a giggle. I, uh, I am now up at this quarry that I want to have a look around. So there's a quarry and a waterfall. I'm just walking up to the waterfall now and then I'm going to decide which way I want to walk up to the quarry because I've got the option of either going up the incline railway, which is over there, or walking up a normal path, which is up over here. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Somewhere. There's jets. I can hear them, but I can't see them, but they flew over earlier and the sound is terrifying. Like, yeah, it's um, bloody noisy, I'll give it that. I'm just at this little waterfall. So under this bridge, you can see, if I take you over, there's a little waterfall there. So I'm just waiting for this guy to move a little bit and then we'll go over and have a proper look. Right, I'm just walking back up this like, little river bit now um, because Ooh, ooh, some of these slate pieces move um, because I can see further down I don't know whether it's a bridge whether it's a tunnel or what but something down there looks interesting so I'm going to slowly but surely make my way up the river oh, and I'm going to try and do it without stacking it We'll have a little look, we'll see what's in that hole. So there's actually some artifacts down here. I don't know whether that's a drill bit or just a bit of pipe. We've also, we've got a wheel over here. So take a look at that. It's a bit rusted now, but yeah, we've got a, uh, a wheel off of a cart. That's, uh, that's quite cool. Actually, now I'm up closer. I don't think this is a wheel off of a cart. It might have been like a, a spindle or a sort of like a cog to something because they've got bits that stick out. So it wouldn't have rolled very well. I wonder what that's come from. If you recognise it, let me know. Oh, that was for nothing. It's just, uh, it's just a hole where the slate's given way. And there's nothing in there at all. And I can't even like get back up by going round. Well, there is tramway in there. So I imagine that's come off the top. I imagine originally there was a tramway along here. But, okay, well, I've got to get back now, so... Uh, I guess I'm just going back the way I came. I don't think there's a... Uh, I don't think there's a better route here. So I think this would have been one of those... Uh, sort of timber mill things again. So it looks like this cart obviously runs along these tracks, or at one point ran along these tracks. <laughs> It's uh, come off them now, so doubt it moves, but yeah, but it can weighs a ton too. There ain't no way you're getting that back on the uh, on the rails, I don't think. That's a shame. I'm surprised at how much stuff there is here, actually. You've got this shed that's caved in. Oh, that actually goes quite a way. If look at this. I don't know if you can see all the way down there or not, really. It doesn't look like you can go in it. I imagine the entrance is um, is blocked off. But I can't actually see from here. Uh, I'll go down in a second, I'll have a look. I'm not going to go way in because it's a uh, it's definitely a false floor. But you can see, you can see, uh, let me uh, lighten you up a little bit. You can see the hole in the bottom here. And there's like a motor and so on in here as well. 
don't know if you can see down there at the bottom. It's definitely a false floor, there's no one going down there. But there's a big pipe over there, I can hear water. There's also up at the back here, there's a, uh, a little tap. Very cool, I'm definitely going to drop something down the hole. Right, nothing crazy, I'm just going back in now. And I've just got this to throw down the back. Yes, it sounds like it only goes another, you know, six, seven feet maybe, but still. Very cool. And there's something over here as well. Which again, tell me what this is, because I'm not sure. Interesting, whatever it is. Swimming baths maybe? I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say it's swimming baths. I'm going to say this is like a little relaxation garden for the workers. It's the only thing I can assume. It's nice. Very chill. The path we need is just over here, so we will be looping back, but just want to have a little look. Yeah, look, even that, that would have been a fountain, I imagine. I almost just walked straight past this. I was uh, too focused on this old incline that I had to walk up. But I wasn't looking here. And I mean, the fact there's rail on the floor here is a good sign. This uh, could be cool. I'll try and do it without uh, getting too wet. Oh. oh my God, the breeze coming through that. Wow, that's a strong breeze. Really cold too. Totally flooded, but very, very cool. I don't know if you can really see down there or not. Let me try um, brightening this up for you. Look at that. Very, very strong breeze coming through. This is a solid reminder of how uh, unstable the slate is. That, I imagine that was an adit there, punched into the hillside. It just completely caved in under the weight. There is another little hut here. I'm not sure what this would have been really, but it's right at the bottom of another incline. So if I come around this side, you'll be able to see it better. We're pretty damn high now. But yeah. There's another incline railway section right there. So they were right next to each other. So I don't know if that was a, a one up and a one down. And quite how that functioned, but we're gonna carry on up through, up through this one here. I don't think we're uh, off the side of it now. Yeah, you can see this one would have come up this direction. So yeah, they're two separate inclines, which is interesting, right next to each other. Right, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the hardest climb I've had to do a week or what, but this is knackering. The, uh, the good news is, is that the top there, that's actually where we want to be. So we aren't too far from it now. It's just, uh, it's just incredibly steep. Again, I don't really think this shows it justice, but oh, definitely knackering me out the most of my walks this week, but it may just be because I've already done some big walks this week um, and that, my body is already a little bit tired, but yeah, it's magnificent, isn't it? Right, made it. So, same as a lot of the places we've been to. There's a lot of um, these sort of slate buildings. It's leaning over a little bit, Jesus. And there is over there, you can see a tunnel that takes you through to the uh, incline railway. 
can also see there's some people up here, so oh, I'm definitely not alone having a look at this. I think we're going to need to go left here. Oh, oh what's this? What do we think this is, guys? Ooh. No idea. Machine for something. Drill, maybe? Maybe that turns, which... No, no idea, but I, if that looks like a drill bit would come out of it. Who knows? More of those like circular fragments and then a bit of rail too. I'm just trying to make my way over to uh, the incline shaft. Right, there you go. So that's what I just wandered through at the very, very top level. And it brings us out to this point here at the top. Oh, let me just get us up here. Ooh. Oh, that's steeper than I thought, hang on. Oh, it's a bit uh, a bit scatty because you know I don't do heights, but this is where we are. How amazing is that? And you can see like other railways and so on. You can see there's one that runs down over here. And then you can see this one that you can come up. And this will take you all the way up through a little tunnel just here. I'm not going to go down that way, I'm going to go back the way I came because I want to explore more in the valley, but absolutely magnificent, isn't it? Just look at it. I wonder if that's one of the open caverns up here. We'll have a look. I do want to keep my eyes peeled for them. Possibly up there too. This is, as I say, this is the um, tunnel through to the incline shaft. So let me, um, let me flip you around. You can watch this with me. So... Just walking on in, the first thing I can see is there's cable on the floor here, running through everything. And they've actually still got what I imagine is part of the old winching system. Big old cog off of it. Oh, this cable everywhere. There's an engine. That's an inline six of some sort. And then you've even got the rails on the floor. And then moving on, Further in, we've got what I imagine is the actual spindle at the top. This is what the wire must cave round. And then I think this is what we saw earlier, is one of these wheels possibly up the top. But let's um, just go and have a look through here. I don't know how long this tunnel's gonna be, but um, at the moment it's looking pretty, pretty damn, oh no, it's not that long not that long but still very very cool just before we um we run off as well i just want to show you if you can see these in the wall look at all of these um drill marks that's just a cork in that one but yeah you can see i mean they're everywhere if you have a look you can see them all over the roof and so on all these drill marks and that's why i keep thinking that maybe i'm seeing drill but Possibly not. Yeah, look at them. Look at all of these. Right, I'm at the top. And uh, this is definitely some sort of cavern. There you go. Look at this. Look at all the rock inside it though. I wonder if that's like, I wonder if that's fallen from the roof. There it goes, all the way off down there. All the way back. I wonder if that's what that is though. I wonder if that this was all stoked out and then the roof was given in. It's really hard to tell. Or, or whether it was purposefully done. Look at it. Yeah, that's a bit, um, that's a bit crazy. I'm not going to step into that. It, uh, it's a bit sketchy for my liking, but you can see there's loads of massive holes between all the rocks and everything.
Not an ad, is it? Oh, that bird does not like me. Look at this though. Don't disturb them too much. I'll leave them be, I'll let them know. Crazy huge. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Right, we're down the bottom. So you've got a nice house here, right on the edge of that lake there. If you can see that in the background. I uh, don't know who would have lived in the house. It looks like it's double storey. So I, um, I can't imagine they're the same as the normal workers' cabins at the top. So I wonder if this is like, um, you know, if they had like chief officers or chief engineers and, and so on. Um, but again, it still looks like it was probably multiple individual houses. Um, and these ones only look like they were one wide rather than two wide but then they were obviously double story so I guess that hasn't been spaced in it but yeah miraculously this end one is in quite good condition fireplace and everything look at that so I'm just taking a few minutes to soak out the sun enjoy the little stream behind and in front of me and enjoy the breeze that's coming off that lake at the top as well. done for the day. So back in the car now, I am, um, it's boiling hot so we've got the aircon going, um, but we're going to head back to our accommodation now, um, I'm going to make some dinner and yeah, get packing because I've got to, uh, got to be out of my accommodation by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, so I'll catch you guys next time, not sure what the next video is going to be, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>